Hi folks, Jonas Kane here for another edition of Magic Words, and the magic word is... Responsibility. <laughs> Winston Churchill once said that the price of greatness is responsibility. And there's this concept known as radical responsibility, which is simply taking responsibility for literally everything. Now in a society that likes to point fingers and play the blame game. This is a very important concept to incorporate into our daily practices. Uh, because when we do, we'll find that we have so much con more control over our lives than we ever believed possible. And one of the key benefits of taking responsibility is that it puts you in charge. Now think about it. Every time you blame something or someone for something, it's you releasing control of your life over to others. Radical responsibility helps us maintain control of our lives so that we can always stay hopeful in our daily lives. Now, while I believe in the magic power of radical responsibility, I also have come to understand that there's a difference between what we can and cannot influence. And I would argue that only a fool would take responsibility for something for which there's no control. For, for example, uh, we, can, we can fight gravity all we want or we can choose instead to move with gravity. Now, I would suggest, though, <laughs> that if we choose to fight gravity, we'll quickly discover that we're gonna lose every time. <laughs> Responsibility is the cost of greatness, but sometimes we hold ourselves accountable for things that we have no control over. This magic word reminds us that there's a difference between the things that we can change and the things that we just need to let go of. I believe our task then is to identify what we can control so that we can recognize our true responsibilities. Now perhaps the best place to start is with yourself. When it comes to you, what can you control? What responsibilities do you have to yourself? Now if you have a family, uh, parents, uh, children, spouse, what are your responsibilities to them? If you live in a community, what is your responsibility as a neighbor? If you have a job, what's your responsibilities uh, 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 to your coworkers, to your employer? If you have customers, what are your responsibilities to the customers? If you are a member of the human race and a citizen of this earth, what are your responsibilities to the world? Now, the magic of this word is found in its simplicity, but the challenge of this word is putting it into practice because I, I think it's safe to say that most everyone wants to change the world for the better it's just that not everyone wants to actually change themselves and that's why today's magic word is responsibility